very good morning to everyone. Today I am going to present a cure case of an hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. But remember this thing, it is not important whether you cure case or not. But important thing in this case is learning of case process. How to learn case process and how to interpret the patient's expression. So first of all, I would like to take blessings from our master Hanuman sir, who gives this divine tool for practice. So first off, we start with blessing of Hanuman sir. Then after, I would like to take blessings of my sirs who come in my life or homeopathic career during various phase of life from college to interns, from interns to practice and still they are continuing. And special thanks to my college from where I graduate and then after I join as a lecturer and I learn a homeopathy very precisely from this college who give me exposure. A very interesting thing, this is an evolution of homeopaths or the student. When we are in college, generally we only give importance to keynote and therapeutics. So during college time, our medicine or our understanding is limited to keynote or therapeutics. Then in interns, we came to know about totality and mental symptom. See, this scenario is happening with everyone. So during my college and during even after internship, I feel that homeopathy is a science. And we also prescribe medicine on base of keynote. We prescribe medicine on totality, mental symptoms. But as the time passes in homeopathy, as we came to know about the psychoanalysis disposition by knowing uh, with Dr. Prapul Vijaykar sir, then I understood, oh, homeopathy is art. And then after later on, in contact with Dr. Kidar sir, then I came to know homeopathy is spiritual. See, every method is right. Here, if you prescribe on keynote, you will get results. If you prescribe on disposition, you will get results. But the important thing, how, how you evolve in homeopathy, whether you are keep yourself limited only to keynotes, only to mental symptoms, that is important. If you want to evolve, because what happened when any physician understand homeopathy is a science, I see and even I observe in many of my colleagues and seniors, their cases is limited to up to functional and some superficial pathology. When you consider it as an art and when you read according to that, you know, practice according to that, you get more deeper pathological cases in your practice. And when you realize that homeopathy is a spiritual, when you consider the sura of the patient, when you follow the chronic disease and organ of medicine, by heart, you will find more deeper and deeper pathological cases. This, I give you one example. Every one of us know during college time, lycopodium has 4 to 8 p.m. aggravation. But in many cases you find, even there is an absence of 4 to 8 p.m. aggravation, still patient get cured with lycopodium. So what is that? So there is something more deeper than this 4 to 8 p.m. aggravation in that medicine. Even you find that uh, we become very fascinating when we get symptoms like patient is ambitious, patient is artistic, and we prescribe on that. Definitely we get result. But if we understand why this patient is artistic, why this patient is ambitious, then our prescription will be more sound. So remember, every method is right. It is the evolution of homeopath. How you evolve yourself from this hierarchy to top sura it depends on your understanding. Now, what happened nowadays? This is, as a professor, my observation from students, they are very zeal to practice homeopathy. They read number of books. They attend number of seminars. But what happened? Ultimately, after completion of BHMS, they started practice. And within one or two hours, they shut down their practice and went uh, go to homeopathy practice. Uh, sorry, allopathy practice. Why? Because there is a strong house, but there is a foundation is weak. And that foundation, I can say it is an organ of medicine and way you understand Matre America. Because in college time, your Matre America is only one side. If you go through the Matre America, go through the repertory, you can understand more deeper why this patient behave like this, why this is an expression. 
so this is my appeal to all the new beginners students interns please please read this organ of medicine and chronic disease let me share my experience after completion of practice sorry after completion of internship up to 12 years i knew only few paragraphs of organ of medicine which were important for practice i didn't go through the entire organ of medicine and even i never read chronic disease but when when i came in contact with dr vidhar sir our guru then i realized the importance of these two books you can say that everything is mentioned in these two books so if you follow this chronic disease and organ of medicine in your practice then the results will be definitely something now remember in homeopathy it is not just the knowledge of repertory or materia medica which is important but it's the application which is more important because we say that everyone know no repertory various repertories everyone know, know the various materia medica but the important thing is application if your application is right you will definitely get result it is how you put your knowledge and wisdom into practice that makes all the difference i see the number of students if you ask any remedy they will speak 10 or 12 symptoms but when it come to the practical part because the important thing in practice is how to convert patient's expression into language of materia medica now that patient's expression how you perceive at which level you perceive whether you perceive it physical level whether you perceive it mental level or whether you perceive it intellectual level or whether you connect this all the symptoms with your is family tree that is important so here i am going to present one case of hemorrhagic ovarian cyst and it is very acute emergency because doctor advise immediate operation for that severe pain here the patients age 25 year female students right handed the date of consultation on 13 may 2023 so why there is a reason for seeing doctor the patient is studying far from the home living in a hostel she was in bangalore suddenly she developed violent abdominal pain and met a hospital checkup gynecologist found a hemorrhagic ovarian cyst and suggest immediate surgical intervention within a week her family plan operation next week one of our homeopath relative refer her to the clinic so this is a usg abdomen on 29 may 2023 where you find left ovarian hemorrhagic cyst now let's we see what are the chief complaints the first complaint pain at left iliac region since 3 days it present there is a constant aching dull pain at left iliac region pain aggravated by pressing a specific point gastric disturbance since childhood there is a constipation since childhood hard stool at alternate day and second complaint is bloating occasionally relieved by eructation and by passing flatus in past history there is a dermatitis of lips from 2019 to 2023 and in childhood there jaundice now family history mother has hypertensive diabetes and had uterine fibroid father has diabetes and constipation maternal grandfather has diabetes now patient has one elder sister and one younger brother both have no major illness now physical general appetite is good but cannot tolerate hunger which leads to anger patient is thirstless perspiration moderate axilla where you find yellow discoloration thermal ambithermal aversion to sweet which is very specific urine no abnormality sun sensitivity presents patient feels dehydrated and giddiness after 2 to 3 minutes of exposure menstrual cycle the menarx in seventh standard and it was regular flow for 4 days no dysmenorrhea no leucorrhea the disposition of the patient patient was extrovert there is extreme anger decision power and confidence level is very good there is a sharp memory now personal history by a patient see generally in personal history what happened during college time we just ask what happened in childhood what hap- what happened in college life but once you understand organ of medicine and chronic disease and if you understand the epigenetics you will get idea what is important in childhood what is important of family tree childhood 
financially middle class family of five. I am the middle child. Father was earning through a job and mother was housewife at that time. My mother once told me that everybody in family want a male child at time of my birth because elder one was sister. And next time during the pregnancy of this patient, everyone expect male child. But she de delivered this female child of our patient. Since then, now what was the feeling of this when mother needs or the family needs male child and patient is female. Since then, I decide that I will do something good enough that I will make them proud. So this was a feeling of patient since childhood. Now the relation with elder sister was not good in childhood. She was very dominating. I was introvert in childhood and had no friends. So I preferred to hang out with my sister Wherever she went, like in family function or with her friends, every time she went with her sister, but she didn't like it, or I can say she didn't like me. At that time, I feel left out. I have to fight to include me. Relatives also ask for my sister as she's extrovert and I could not connect with them. No one asked for me. These are the words of the patient. My brother is nine years younger than me. We share a good bonding, but sometimes my mother do partially, partiality among us. She prioritize him. As a middle child, I think that everybody give priority to the firstborn sister and the younger one brother over me. No one even asked for me. My parents used to fight, sometimes physical violence. I used to separate them while fighting because I thought it was very insulting for family if our neighbor found out about bad fights. Now the school life. Entire school know me because of my sister. She was the scholar student with 100% attendance certificate. I was top the class because I want to become like my sister. Till fourth standard, I used to skip classes. But after that, I attended every class without single leave because I also want 100% attendance certificate like my sister. So now remember what happened in previous practice when we find the patient is continuously diligent or you can say she even attend the class, then we consider that the patient is studious. But now you understand that why patient is studious. You should go in the back thread of this studiousness. Why patient develops studious? whether it's a because of to get the appreciation of the teachers, whether get the appreciation of the parents or whether you compare with others. So that is important. And remember in final analysis, this superficial expression definitely work out. But if you find the thread behind that, then it will be very important for the differentiation of the remedy. So you can get the idea why she want 100% attendance. Now college life. She was basically in one of the IIT. For my guide is very strict. He gave me double work than any of my colleagues, but I took it positively. Since last eight months, he tortures me mentally. I am tired of him. My scores are very good. Then also he told me that I will make sure that you get fail. I can't say anything to him because I want to finish graduation without any delay. So here the constant threat of this patient is ki mujhe a limited time mein mujhe graduation complete karna hai. If I took any uh, steps against him, then he will definitely going to fail me. He got involved into my personal life. He restricted me to go work with some group of students. He restricted me to talk with some of my male classmates. Sometimes he asks me for dinner. I feel bad intention of him but I cannot refuse. He used to tell me that I am like his second child. He behaved well at that time. If I want go out of campus, I have to take permission from him. He gave more work to me. He even refused my all leaves, including Sunday. We are three students under her guidance. All restrictions, all burdens and all rules are only for me. My completion date is in July 2023. At beginning of this month, means May 2023, he called me and told me that 
I will make sure that you will get you will get fail or get extension at least of six months because I found that you are talking with the classmate, which is restricted. After that call, I suffered anxiety and diarrhea. Constantly, I was thinking, what will I do if he give extension to me? Will it ruin my career? So this is the end of the case. Now, very interesting in this case, the patient's mother history. Patient's mother has six sister, no brother. Other relatives taunts Nani for not having son. So from childhood, patient mothers want to play a role of son. So this is a history of mother. Keep this history in mind. We will discuss later on about this aspect also, how it is correlated to the patient. Now, first rubrics we consider in case is delusion neglected he is. Because now in patient's life, where do you find this neglection? Family wanted male child, perception of neglected by relatives because everyone give priority to the elder sister and younger son, uh, brother. Perception of elder sister's behavior in childhood and mother's favoritism for brother. Second important symptom, domination by others aggravates. Here we combine all the rubrics of domination. Dominating elder sister, dominating guide, which affect patient's mental peace. So and third rubric is sweet aversion. So when we repertorize these three rubrics, we get one remedy, that is a lake humanum. So we prescribe that remedy, lake humanum, and after one dose of lake humanum, pain relieve within one week, follow up report so simple clear cyst on left ovary, which regress in size, compared to previous CCG. So this CCG was on 12 June 2023. And see, this is a follow-up. Hello, everyone. At the end of the day, I had pain in my lower abdomen. When I did the sonography, I knew that I had a cyst in my left ovary, which was a size of my left ovary. जब गायनक को दिखाया तो उन्होंने सजेस्ट किया कि मुझे ऑपरेशन करवाना चाहिए उसका क्योंकि साइज बहुत बड़ा था बट फिर मैंने भावेश्वर से अपना केस डिस्कस किया एंड उनके एक दो डोज से ही मेरा पेन पूरी तरह कम हो गया इनफैक्ट खत्म ही हो गया एंड जब मैंने रिपीट स्कैंस करवाए कुछ महीने बाद और एक साल बाद भी तब भी मैंने देखा कि मेरे सिस्ट का साइज बहुत ज़्यादा कम हो गया है पहले से तो इस तरह मुझे और किसी भी ट्रीटमेंट या मेडिकेशन की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ी एंड सर के डोज से ही मेरी सिस्ट की प्रॉब्लम बहुत इजीली रिजॉल्व हो गई थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दैट एंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू माय असिस्टेंट डॉक्टर क्रीना पटेल सी टोक दिस एंटायर केस इन डिटेल एंड देन आफ्टर वी एनालाइज दिस केस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कोटेशन बाय डॉक्टर ग्रीमर द स्टूडेंट डॉक्टर कैंट Nothing will ever displace our material medicals and our study of them and our philosophy. We still need our philosophy more and more. See, these are the words by Dr. Grimmer. No matter what our methods are in getting the remedy. So most important thing for homeopaths is to understand our philosophy by Dr. Hanuman sir, Dr. Kant sir, Dr. Robert sir, and other pillars of homeopathy. So this is the case. Now let's we understand the lake humanum. So lake humanum, first we understand the history of lake humanum, how it evolved in homeopathy. The Melissa acelin came to the idea of Lake Humanum in 1987. It was because she was treating so many cases of HIV and AIDS. She was searching for something very specific to allow the damage of immune system to be strengthened. She thought at that point was, if our mother's milk is what helps to create a strong immune system, then perhaps a homeopathic dose could help bring back it back into balance. There were 11 detecting women in her practice at this time. The one she asked to be the donor had an amazingly close bond with her baby. A wonderful proofing was done by Jacqueline Halton and Elizabeth Allah of Lake Humanum. 
So let's we start with the understanding of lecumenum. Maternal love has been considered the highest of love and the most holy bond of affection. And milk has long served as the primary symbol of this love and care present by a mother. Now, what are the elements from in Lake Humanum? The elements from early responsibility and need to become mother for younger siblings. Elements from early responsibility of the family. Elements from overprotection. Elements from not having children. Elements from death of mother. Elements from winning. Lack of maternal caring. Unsatisfactory connection with mother. See, these are the theme of Lake Humanum. Four second feeling. Feels herself abandoned by friends and relatives. Wants to independence. Efforts to gain the love of mother. Hides a lot of grief behind her smile. There is an emotion suppressed by authoritative figures like teacher, friends and parents. Now, the first theme is abandonment. Lake Humanum may have been emotionally neglected child because their parents were likely preoccupied with pursuing their own ideals. So to avoid abandonment, they can be fanatical about behaving exactly as the family expect. So this is a reaction of this hidden feeling of abandonment. Lake Humanum is tightly bound to the extended family and will feel lost and abandoned without them. Everyone is together and connected except me. This is a feeling of Lake Humanum. They are all in circle and I am on outside. I have given, but they shut me out. See this separated figure, that is a feeling of Lake Humanum. They have humanity, altruism, sympathy, morality, spirituality and hand, on one hand. And on the other hand, the need of protection, low self-esteem, immaturity, intense dependency, buoyancy, changeability, and sensitivity. At one hand, they prefer to be mother, and on the other hand, they want to baby again. This is the basic conflict of Lake Humana. They have early responsibility of younger siblings or entire family. So they are taking care of all as like a mother. They tend to understand one's problem emotion, so they are ready to help them. Even they are so much helpful, generous and responsible that they are putting others' desire and wishes first. But on the other hand, they miss their early days of life. They miss the mother or person with whom they are intensely attached. They do not wish to grow up and want to become baby once again. And they have care and nurture from the mother. This is the reason in some cases we can witness delayed development or delayed milestone. Though they are adult, they want to cuddle or hold tightly a person, pillow or soft toys and sleep. This was the, they feel attached with someone. So this is very interesting. Even in many adult age, you find the patient want to cuddle or hold tightly a person pillow or some soft toys and sleep. In some cases, we can witness opposite of early responsibility and maturity. The parents are intensely protective towards the child, even up to teenager. So the child has no proper development. Nowadays, it is very common because parents are become very protective because of insecurity and fear they inherited from their parents. They do not have courage to face the world. They are weak will and indecisive. They are short of underdevelopment and immature. So this way, Lake Humanum has two states, mature as well as immature. When we witness the immature state in the case, we can see person is confused, unable to concentrate, making lots of mistakes, unable to judge distance accurately, poor in learning, poor development, thumb sucking, desire to put something in mouth, poor control over urine and stool. They are awkward and clumsy. They are impulsive, restless and hasty. They have lots of unnatural impulses, which is they feel unable to control them. They are angry and irritable 
and answering snappishly and maliciously. Now, what is expression of leukemia in case? There is a forsaken, loneliness, feeling lost, lack of empathy, lack of bonding, lack of self-respect, lack of ambition, lack of confidence, indifference to all, even to suffering of others, sense of isolation, forsaken feeling, and deep aloneness, feeling as if not receiving enough nurturing from others, holding on or cutting tightly a pillow or person with whom you sleep, dreams of living in a paradise and everything is nice and peaceful, disconnected, detached, hide. Mood changeable, there is a two wills, desire to be alone and desire to be in company of others. Feeling of loneliness versus prefer to be alone. Prefer to independent versus desire to help and support. Dream of pregnancy, dream of having child. Desire to live with small kids, desire to nurse them and take care of them. Fascination of baby animals. Concentration difficult, mistakes, inaccurate judge of distance. Thumb sucking, the desire to have something in the mouth. So you will find two sets of drug, one drug on a positive side and on negative side. But if you understand the core essence of this remedy, you can understand why patient is prefer this symptom. Now the important rubrics. Delusion lost the affection of beloved friend. Delusion is alone. Delusion being betrayed. Delusion, everyone is an enemy. Delusion sees nesting. Delusion is ugly. Delusion, he has done wrong. Anxiety about business. Anxiety of loved ones. Discontented with oneself. Mind abrupt. Mind answer snappishly. Mind cursing, swearing, desire. Mind anger alternating with quick repentance. Elements from abuse in childhood. Mind active, hyperactive. Very much attached to mother. Gesture makes put everything in mouth in children. Mild, morbid impulses. Desire for intimacy. Cannot bear to be looked at, which aggravate. Moral affection, want of. Mood, changeable, variable. And some physical symptoms. Eczema, which is worse from milk. Emptiness and depression on waking. Alcoholism. Extreme thirst. It is a remedy where there is an affinity for the breast and the female organs, affection of endocrine system, affection of kidney, aggravation from alcohol, eating, waking, before menses, menses and during breastfeeding. Better by eating, motion and breastfeeding. Chronic digestive symptom due to malabsorption. So this is an understanding of lacrimenum from materia side. Now this is a for new generation of homeopaths, if you want to understand the depth of homeopathy in the light of organon and chronic disease, please go to this website www.preachhomeopathy.com where you find in this section the various notes and understanding of case. See, this is a case taking section, Materia Medica section. How to probe in case? See, this is a purely based on chronic disease and organ of medicine, but many a time we limited our prescription to only superficial expression. If we go through, we practice this method, your prescription become more finer. There is a Facebook page, Preach Homeopathy Officials, where you get the live lectures of SARS and faculty. This is YouTube channel, Preach Homeopathy, where also you get the videos of SARS. Then to understand, see in this lecture, I avoid GNM because if I talk about GNM, then the direction is something different. But in my practice, generally we connect GNM, German New Medicine, with the patient's mental state. So it is very interesting why ovary is affected, what is the conflict of ovary that you can learn from this website www.learninggnm.com.
So this is a website. So you can go through that learning gnm.com. And next, you can also see in YouTube, the YouTube channel by Dr. Satish Gajera, where he keeps the videos of organ on chronic disease and other spiritual disease. So thank you very much. But before going to that, I would like to share with you how to understand this or read for newcomers. Just a minute. Stop. See, this is a website, www.preachhomeopathy.com. Here there is a learning real. So in that learning real, you have different section, case taking, materia medica, repertory, cured cases. So when you go with this case taking, very interesting, the basic understanding of case taking based on organon and homeopathy. So this is my request to all the new beginners, the students and interns, Please go through this case taking process. You can understand how lycopodium represent, what are the different set, even in our material case, today's case, why lake hominum has a both sides and which side is reflect of which. So you find everything. And this is my request to the all others. Please go through this. Even in Matria Medica, you find that Matria Medica in this seminar monthly classes. In monthly classes, also you find lots of material related to this please go through this one by one but this is my humble request to all please first read this case taking first time two time three times then you will get idea about how to go in case my entire approach is become changed after met with dr didar sir so thanks to sir for this understanding of this divine tool which is helpful for this and again thank you to dr satish gajera who gave this opportunity to save the case in betterment of homeopathic fraternity. So thank you very much.